Hi, this is Dave, and today I'm reviewing the Treasure Products Vibra Tector 730 Underwater Metal Detector. One of these days I'm going to review a product that actually has a short name, but anyhow, these retail for about $164.95, but you can pick one up on uh, Amazon.com for around $145. This unit is a pulse induction detector that runs off a standard 9 volt battery. It has a 4 inch co coil and the whole unit measures a little over 17 inches making it a very compact detector. It can easily fit into any dive bag. The manufacturer states it's waterproof down to 30 feet. However, I've used it in 50 feet of water without it leaking and I wouldn't be surprised if it can go uh, even deeper than that. The operation of this unit is a little different than uh, most underwater metal detectors though. In order to turn it on you must hold it up for about 5 seconds and it will vibrate twice and the LED light will turn on. If you want to turn it off you hold the unit down for 5 seconds and then hold it up for 5 seconds. It will give two long vibrations and the light will turn off indicating it's turned off. These unusual methods uh, of turning it on and off eliminate the need of having a traditional on-off switch that could leak. I would prefer that they use the magnetic reed switch though because sometimes when I'm swimming around with this unit turned off I accidentally raise it up and turn it on. This unit has a waterproof plug on the top of the handle that looks very crude. However, it does a perfect job of keeping the water out. I've never had a drop of water in this detector. You just have to make sure your hand tightens the seal until it's good and snug. When you detect metal with this unit, the handle vibrates and the LED light flashes. The bigger the target or the closer you get to the target, the harder it vibrates. Before I bought this detector, I was con concerned that it would not be able to feel the I would not be able to feel the vibration through my thick gloves. It turns out that not only can I easily feel the vibration through my gloves, but I can actually hear it underwater. You're not going to have any trouble knowing when you have found some metal. However, there's no discrimination on this unit, so you can't adjust it to filter out junk like pop tabs. For every coin you're going to find, expect to find plenty of valuable treasures such as screws, pop tabs, rust, and nails. Um, this underwater metal detector, it's perfect for someone who only uh, metal detects a few times a year. It's compact so you can take it wherever you're going and most importantly it does uh, detect metal, metal underwater. Uh, a user who's more advanced and detects more often will probably want a more sophisticated unit that has discrimination and larger coil though. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, review.